Hello everyone. I think this vlog is gonna be a little late because um it's currently two o'clock on Sunday and usually I record these before noon. So oops. Um <laughs> my bad. This has been a very crazy weekend. So I'm still working on the color thumbnails. As usual, these steps take a while. So I started working on not I continued working on this scene with Mitzi where she's talking to a bunch of young knights, young pages, um, and, you know, all the colors were already picked out and chosen, so it wasn't too hard to just continue working on them. And I also began working on the... It's, like, the same scene, but it's kind of different. I don't know, like, because there was... <laughs> Scenes are weird. I, I'll be real. I'm, like, wrapping my head around them, because I'm not... I'm not a... I'm not a a good writer type. Bones probably would have the answer to this, but, like, scenes can change when there's, like, a transition of scene. Or, <laughs> a transition of scene. Scenes can end when there's, like, a, a transition from one setting to another. However, that, because that usually denotes, like, the end of a, an arc. Because, like, each scene should have a story arc to it. Where it's, like, a character wants a thing, they there's a beginning middle and end of the scene and they either get the thing or don't get the thing i think that's like the basic idea behind what makes a scene but this scene in particular where it's mitzi talking to these pages and then she leaves and um i think it's still the same scene because she didn't get the thing and before leaving to a new setting but i don't know it could also be another scene because there was there was a little bit of an arc and then she's going on to the next little vignette that has an arc to it. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Ask Bones. <laughs> um, but, yes. So, I started a new quote-unquote scene. At least the colors changed a little bit. That's also a way that I've been denoting scene changes is just when the colors change. I mean, usually it's because there's a big switch between, like, a massive switch be between settings. So, for example, like, the first scene starts in the woods, and then the second scene is, like, in a castle. So, yeah, the color palettes are, of course, going to be very different, and we're following different characters. But when it's the same characters, you can also denote a scene change by changing the colors, because they're in a new setting. Even if it's just, like, a different section of the same setting. Because here, Mitzi's just walking inside the castle after being out in the courtyard. But yeah, so I had to choose new colors. They are more or less the same as the previous scene. However, they are also... They also have to change just because of the lighting changing. So, like, for example, she, you know, she, the previous scene, she's out in the sunlight. It's a bright day. Um, and then she goes inside where there's the bright light of the outside behind her. And then she's in a hallway where it's a little bit darker. And I think it's only dim because there's the bright light behind her. Um, but there's probably, like, candles or light sources inside. I mean, I'm sure they'd have them. But... Yeah, so it's a little darker. It also is to enhance the mood. She's a little disappointed. Yeah, so I had to change, tweak the colors slightly uh, just to give them a bit more of a cool feel, uh, as in, like, temperature-wise for the colors, like, making them a bit more blue and a bit more gray. And I also added in a little bit into the background. I think you'll see it later in this video. I don't think it's playing right now. Um, but... Uh, I also added a little bit of scenery because when I was coloring it, I was like, I don't know. Uh, this, this feels a little barren, this, this composition here. So maybe I'll throw in some little background decorations. Uh, and I just did that quickly with a little bit of shadow, uh, detailing. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a process. Um, I found, once again, I was really, I put off working on these all week. I do have to get a lot filmed this week because Bones and I are going to a convention next weekend. Uh, we're going to Fernal Equinox in Toronto, which is a, a big furry convention, um, which we've never been to before, so I'm hoping it'll be cool. And yeah, so <laughs> I won't have time um, after Thursday to do any video work, so I gotta do all my videos this week. So I kept kicking myself because I was like, I need to get this footage done so that I can get my extra footage done this week. But it just didn't happen. It was, it was it's very stressful. Um, a lot of things happening at my day job and then I'd come home and just be exhausted from doing all that. And then um, Bones and I also had our final roommate move out. Um, so for the longest time, we've had a bunch of roommates who slowly you know, moved on to, to other places. Because, like, back when we first moved out, like, uh, from our, our parents' places, we got a, a place with... So it was me, Bones, and three other roommates. 
which was hell. <laughs> it was the worst thing ever. I hated having that many roommates. But slowly they, you know, one went off to school, one found another place, etc. Um, and so we've had this one other roommate who has stayed with us for several years and she finally moved out. So Friday she was moving all her stuff out and then Bones and I have had to do some painting uh, in her room because um, there were some holes in the in the wallpaper. So yeah, that has been our, our weekend. It's been kind of crazy. Um, it's also stressful just having like someone move out and then we wanted to really like clean the house, which has been great because we we've had like started our spring cleaning a little early and we cleared out a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't want in our house and it's really nice and our kitchen looks great right now. <laughs> So that's been nice, but it's also exhausting and I haven't had time to do artwork and I've kind of been avoiding it because I'm like, I just want to do the cleaning stuff because maybe my brain will feel better when I'm in a really clean, decluttered space, which really helps because leading up to the move, Bones and I weren't doing like as much cleaning as we wanted to because we were like, we're just going to do a big clean when she moves out and that'll be great. <laughs> so we, we kind of stopped doing things like, you know, just little things like cleaning off the the kitchen table after we're done using it or whatever. So things have been a little cluttered and a little crazy, so it's it kind of kills the working vibe. And yeah, and just stress and change really makes me not want to work on art. Um, but once I sat down last night to, f like, work on this footage here, as soon as I start, I like it. So I always gotta remember that. I can kick and scream and cry the whole way to, like, sitting down in the chair and getting the work done, but once I actually get started, it's fun. So, and Bones is gonna use this against me. Not against me. I guess it's for me. So in a previous vlog, I talked about it. I was like, yeah, it was so great how Bones like made me sit down and do my work. So now whenever I'm like, oh, I don't want to do my work. And I'm like lollygagging around. He's like, um, excuse me. <laughs> you said <laughs> I should make you sit down and work. And I'm like, no, you can't tell me to do that. And he's like, mm, I have video proof. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. So here's more video proof bones. There you go. It's always for my own good because I gotta get work done, but sometimes you just want to chill. So yeah, that is, that is my week. This is my, my weekend. It feels like it's been two weeks just because like a lot happened this week uh, and a big part of it was just like tons of projects all due at the same time at my day job. So I was like, I am screaming internally trying to get all this done, but I got it done, which is cool. And yeah, and then just getting ready to live on our own for the first time in, like, three, four years. I, well, living on our own, technically, like, since we were children, because <laughs> we were living with our parents and then we had roommates. And, yeah, so right now, Bones and I, it's, like, the first time we've ever kind of lived on our own um, without other people living with us. And it's really cool. It's really relaxing and nice, because, like, we can just, you know, um, you don't have to worry about, like, being too loud when someone else is asleep in the house, or, like, you don't have to worry about, I don't know, uh, leaving a mess when someone else wants to use the kitchen and, like, being, like, a jerk for doing that. Now it's, like, we can just leave a mess, and we'll clean it up the next morning, and we won't be in anyone else's way, and that's just really relaxing and nice. And rearranging furniture is really cathartic, I find. It, I just, I really like, I guess I like the novelty of, like, having a fresh room that's all rearranged. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to continue to clean things out and rearrange our house and make it beautiful. Because honestly, it has not been very beautiful for a couple years, just because, you know, there are some things we couldn't clean because it would just get in the way of our, our roomies. So we didn't. So there's a lot of clutter in, like, some hallways and, like, some cabinets and closets have not been cleaned out in forever because we didn't want to like throw something out and find out it was our roommates. But now everything in our house is ours so we can do whatever we want with it. So it's really nice, really exciting and relaxing. I'm really tired. I like passed out last night after like moving furniture all day and cleaning things all day, but I did get my artwork done. So <laughs> heck yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I'm going to keep working on these color thumbnails as per usual. Um, I'm slowly getting there, guys. I'm, I'm on the second row. <laughs> There's, like, three rows of, uh, like, thumbnails. I don't know how much is in each one. It, it comes out to, like, 54 pages or something. Um, but there's three rows, and I finally made it onto the second one. So, progress! I mean, the third one, that's all, like, blacked out, I've already begun on. It's just, like, spoilery stuff that I don't want to show on camera. So, I will deal with those. So yeah, I'm further than I appear, but 
I still have a lot of work to do and I don't know how much I'm going to get done because of the con that we have to prep for next weekend, um, which will be exciting, but oh my god, con prep is very stressful, I find. Um, it always turns out okay, which is great, but like, we have to like leave our animals with people to watch and pack all our stuff and make sure we have all our con supplies and ugh, it's just it's stressful for like a f couple days. So... I will, I will, I will, hopefully I will get this done. Maybe at the con I'll get it done. Maybe, maybe when we're back in our hotel, I can, I can work on nine point some more. And honestly, it's not even done once I get these done because I have to show them to Bones and get approvals and who knows if there'll be new changes. I also need to work on those like explainer pages. They're all like yellowed out right now because um, I don't know what to do with them and I really need to sit down and think about it, but my brain just didn't want to today. I was like, I'm just gonna do the easy stuff where I already have the colors ready. And that worked out fine. Um, yeah, like I'm always saying, they're kind of slow going because it's a lot of thought and sitting there and thinking, going, okay, does this belong here? Does this belong here? But I get a really nice result at the end. Um, I'm really liking how these are looking. I think I said this in the last vlog, but these feel kind of like just mini finished pages and that's really cool. I mean, I guess they are mini finished pages, um, but they, they just feel so real and it's so close and I'm so excited to get these done. Um, this vlog is gonna be shorter because <laughs> my computer is dying as I'm recording this. <laughs> Please hold out, computer, you can do it. Um, so yeah, a little shorter just because we're busy. It's a little crazy. My computer's dying. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, that is all. Um, I guess come see us at Fernal Equinox if you are in the Toronto area. Um, I... I don't know anything about the convention except what I've seen on their website, so I don't know how it'll be, but if if you're there, you can come say hi. Bones and I are at the at table 69 in the dealer's room. We were laughing pretty hard about that, by the way. <laughs> when we found out our table number, Bones was, like, in the car with me looking at his phone, and he started screaming. He's like, we got the, we got the sex number! We got table 69! So, yeah, it was pretty funny. So, yes. We, sorry guys, that wasn't very wholesome, but it's pretty funny, so maybe I'll cut this out. But yeah, we, we will be there. Come say hello if you're there. Um, we'll be selling Nine Point, most likely, more than our other stuff, because our other stuff isn't furry-centric. And also, I guess, oh, there won't be a stream. If you, if you watch our, our live streams on Saturdays, there won't be one next weekend, because we'll be away. Um, but the following weekend, I think we're going to do, like, a movie night type deal where if you sign up for our Patreon, I think it's like the $5 tier, you can hang out with us on stream and watch shows. I don't think it'll be on the Saturday stream, but like it's a reward you can get. And there's other rewards that go along with our Saturday streams. Um, just this past yesterday, we, we did a critique stream where we critiqued the artwork submitted by our, our Patreon supporters. Um, we do games on Saturdays and stuff uh, on streams where we play art games or draw with our patrons. So go sign up for our Patreon if you're interested, if you want to join in on all that stuff. And if you want to read Nine Point, issue number one, you can go check out our Etsy store and find it there. We have ebooks and physical books. If you can't make it to the convention, to, to buy it in person. Um, so thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself, clean your room, um, work on your thumbnails, and I hope you have a really good day. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!